All right, let's check out what I got at a thrift store today. And an old Windows XP machine. I only paid five bucks for it. And we're gonna have some fun with it today. Let's check out the front. DVD ROM drive, a nice volume slider, headphone jack, eject button. We got another one down here. Volume slider, headphone jack. This looks like it's a DVD RW writer. Eject, floppy drive. What I thought was kind of neat, this is actually kind of like a clear plastic. And actually on this side, that's your reset button. On that side, that's your, that's your power button. And it looks like this is made by MDG. .ca. Must be a Canadian company of some sort that built it. It says it's designed for Windows XP. Whether or not it actually has it, I'm not sure. There's a nice fan on the side here. Power supply. There's our IOs in the back here. Mice, keyboards, USB, parallel, serial. A couple more USBs. Get your audio integrated into the motherboard. GeForce 4 MX440. Here's our Ethernet. Got a modem that's never going to be used. Should you just take it out of there? It supports Pentium 4. And I looked up the socket type. This is a socket type 478. It's either a Pentium 4 or a Celeron. This is actually our CPU here. There's our graphics card. Other stuff in there. Wires. I'm not sure how big the hard drive is. I couldn't really see it, so we'll figure that out. All right, let's fire this baby up. There it goes. No video yet. Sync Master Monitor. Yeah, the keyboard isn't lighting up here. May have a dud. Things are happening, but doesn't seem to be complete. <gasps> there it is! Woo! Yeah! Okay, so recap. Memory wasn't seated properly. And also the video card wasn't seated properly. And we have Windows XP installed. Looking good. It looks like it was a 64 megabyte video card. I'm not sure about the processor at this point, but we'll figure that out. Auto adjusting. Look at that. Oh, look at the size of these icons. <laughs> Wind cleaner. I can't believe people throw out their computers without wiping the hard drives or at least taking the hard drives out or something. Very strange. Looks like Susan had this one. I got it now, Suze. GeForce 4, MX440. Pogo Games, Jewel Quest, Solitaire. Okay, Dry Peaks 2. Smart Shopper. Compare product prices. Games Bar. Looks like this person had a Brother HL 2140 printer. Speed Max, just a bunch of, bunch of crap. Pretty basic stuff here. Quest for the Ruby Ring. Uh, just a bunch of card games on here. Is that an internet game? I don't have any tokens, holy shit. Susan, do you have any pictures on here? Nope. Any music? Uh huh. So it looks like some thought went into getting rid of the computer. Maybe. <sighs> Floppy drive. Mark online. Susan's documents. We already there. Email message. Let's see what kind of emails Susan's sending. Okay. Look at that, 2013. Yeah. So it looks like an 80 gig hard drive. Pogo. Last window up was Pogo. I 
can't believe that loaded. I'm not connected to the internet, so... Huh. 2099. Holy shit. Going into the future. Where is the history? I want to see what this person was looking at. I need to investigate. History. Favorites button, and then history. History. Oh, it's all gone. Yeah, nothing interesting. Okay, well, let's figure out what kind of processor this thing has. Intel Pentium 4, 1.7 gigahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM. It's only one stick. Service pack 3, Sue. All right, let's see if the floppy drive works. Not looking good. Probably ruining this disc. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's XP for you. I think we're gonna have a little fun and put some Windows 98 on an SD card. That's what I'm thinking. Say goodbye to this computer's hard drive. This is coming out. It's coming out quickly. Goodbye. This takes a long time to shut down. Okay, so this is how we're going to put Windows 98 onto an SD card. And I know what you're saying. Wait a minute. That's not going to work because these pins are wrong, right? This is the wrong style IDE. Well, we got one of these. And what this is going to do is convert our 2.5 inch IDE to a normal 3.5 IDE like we need. So. Let's plug this thing in. That's how that goes. And then we take our SD card here. And we just do this. It clicks right in. Let's get this old hard drive out of here. Okay. This is our filthy Western Digital. Okay, that's it. I don't like how there's a bunch of metal around and there's just some exposed contacts here. There. That should work. Okay, let's fire it up. Alright, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to put on a boot disk. Although, from what it did in XP, I highly doubt it's going to boot from the actual A drive, but we'll give it a shot. I'm wondering if it's found, if it found the uh, SD card adapter. Mm, it didn't. It did not. Well, let's see if, what happens with the boot disk right now here. Holy Actually sounds better. Just needed a little TLC. Wow. I don't believe it. Okay, so what I did is I took an actual laptop hard drive and hooked it up to that adapter. And there's the drive right there, so it just doesn't like that SD adapter. Okay, let's see if this piece of shit adapter works in this uh, on the gateway motherboard here. All you gotta do is unplug that. Let that hang there, I guess. Okay, looks good to me. Ah, looks like it reads it. High speed SD. Huh. Well, you know what we're gonna do then. We're going to get the SSD out of this thing and put it into the Pentium 4. Okay, so here's our IDE to SATA adapter here. And we need to unplug this one. And there's that. Need to plug in a floppy drive power connector here. And then I got this adapter here for the SATA power to the Molex. 
Okay, so here's our drive. Okay, and we just gotta plug this into the two drive slot, which is this black one. And we should be all set, hopefully. Hopefully this adapter likes and plays along nicely with this motherboard and this one here. So, let's power it up. There we go. Finally have an SSD. 64 gigabytes. All right, let us put some Windows 98 SE on it. Okay, F disk. Large disk support, yes. Yeah, there's the free DOS. We don't, we're gonna have to, we'll delete that. Okay, create primary. Maximum size available, we sure do. Let it go through again. Okay, we need to reboot. Okay, we need to format C and let it work its magic. Okay, that took a really long time. Kind of weird being a solid state drive and all, but okay, F drive, I think. I think that's our Windows 98 disk set up. Well, that's nice to know. There we go. Okay. Hopefully it goes a little faster than that, huh? We want a custom install. Got this one. Turn them all on. Okay. No, we don't want to do that. We already have one. Sit back and relax. Yeah, don't mind if I do. This is all looking very, very good. Oh, things are happening. Whoa. Drum, 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 little drummer boy. Restart now. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Alright, so there you have it. I gotta load some drivers on here. And I think what we're gonna do is move this computer into a more appropriate computing position. Alright, I got a zip disk here with a bunch of drivers on it, but I don't think uh, Windows is gonna see the zip drive right away. It is a serial. Uh, connection for the zip, the zip, but I do have a driver disk for it, so it does say Windows 95. I'm assuming it's gonna work with 98. So let's test it here. Try that one. There it is. There we go. Should hopefully find something here. It must have. It's assigning a drive letter. Drive located. Okay. Tools this correctly insert in your drive. Oh, I gotta get one of those. All right, so here's the uh, tools disk. Yeah, might as well install it all. We got plenty of space. Product registration. 
No, don't think so. Future special offers. Oh, is this far into the future though? I don't think so. In two, oh great. Yeah, remind me in two weeks. There's our zip disk. All right, let's put our driver disk in here. Plus I got some other components and programs. Just copy them all on. Okay, so we went and took a shower and came back and it's done. So let's go ahead and we'll just eject and let's install our video drivers first. Restarting. No, oh, looking better. Okay, so there's our NVIDIA icon down there, so that's cool. 32 bit color, come on. We don't want to restart, just do it. Just do it. So there's GeForce 4 MMX uh, 440. Now let's put some sound on this thing. How about that? It's finding things. Not sure what's going on with the sound here. It's showing up here, Creative SB Live Value. Okay, so I swapped out the sound card I had in there with another Sound Blaster Live. Like the one I had in, and sound works now. So, I can prove that. There it is. And now I have a, a driver for the uh, motherboard, all the motherboard chipsets for the USB. Apparently, that's what the description said, anyways. So, we'll try to get rid of some of the uh, unknown uh, components with this installer here. Yeah, Intel chipset software utility. I'll restart. Okay, so this is good. So it is finding some of the stuff, that's good. PCI, PCI. Oh. This is looking really good. I like it. I don't like that though. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, let's see what that uh, device manager looks like. Eh, still got some errors. Huh. Well, I don't think there's anything I can do about any of this. We'll just remove. Internet connection sharing? No thanks. We'll leave those there. I think we'll close this video out with a game. Some, not that you can see it, Max Payne 1. We'll go ahead and install that. Should run pretty good on this system. Go through the specs right now. So the recommended is a 700 megahertz Intel or AMD, and I believe we have a 1.7 gigahertz. So it doesn't say here, but I believe it's a 1.7 Pentium 4. 128 megabytes of RAM, we have 512. 32 megabyte video card, and we have a 64. So this should run pretty good. I'm curious. Let us install. Full installation. We've got plenty of room. Alright, we'll let that install. Okay, so it's all done installing here, so let's check it out. Got my cool Max Payne background. Not too shabby. Plaza. Verify address. It's Plaza. Plaza. That is running really good. So for five bucks, it's really not bad. Not that bad of a machine. I'm still in the Ford. I did replace the hard drive, but hey, probably would have worked just fine with a mechanical drive Shell. in it. Honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row, center. So yeah, not too bad. What the hell? It's coming. 
this game next stop Roscoe Street Station and Alex never understood why they went with that kind of smirk on his face for the entire game really weird but it is an awesome game I think that's about it. I'm going to save this. And thanks for watching. Leave comments, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. <laughs>